God has an inheritance for you. You have to walk before the Lord. You have to walk in the name of the Lord. You have to walk into your inheritance. And you have to learn to walk in the spirit. Walk in the spirit. Galatians chapter 5 verse 25. If we live in the spirit, we also walk in the spirit. If we live in the spirit, and that's where our Christian life starts. It starts when we get born again, we have brand new spirits. We live in the spirit. But living in the spirit is not the same as walking in the spirit. One is a state you are in. The other is a life that you manifest. So we live in the spirit and we walk in the spirit. So though the life we have has a physical component, the core of our life is spiritual. And, and when we are walking in the spirit, it simply means that we have become so aware of our spiritual life that our physical limitations do not limit us. Because many times in life, we look at what we have, what we don't have, what we can do, what we cannot do, what our parents gave to us, what they didn't give to us. That's good to look at your natural life and assess your strengths and weaknesses. But after all is said and done, you have to walk by the Spirit, because the Spirit of Christ lives inside of you. So when we say we are walking in the Spirit or walking by the Spirit, it means we are walking by the enablement of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit of Christ. The Holy Spirit is Christ with us. When Jesus Christ was with his disciples, he was with them physically. They could go to him, they could touch him. After he ascended, he gave us the Holy Spirit, the same Spirit of Christ, but now with us spiritually. So the Holy Spirit lives in us, but the Holy Spirit doesn't live just in our body. The Holy Spirit lives in our spirits. And that also means that spiritually, we have the Holy Spirit in us. And that gives us enormous power. So although our outward man, our physical life may have limitations, there are mental limitations we have. Spiritually, we have no limitation. We have no barrier. We can break barriers. We can do amazing things for God. In the natural, you may be slow of understanding. But in the spirit, you are filled with all knowledge and understanding. And so although in the natural you may not be good at mathematics or some subject and you can't grasp it, you have to trust God that his Holy Spirit can impart to you wisdom and knowledge beyond what the classroom could ever teach you. And that is why when you become a born again believer, you can outperform your report card. You can outperform your grade in life. You can outperform where your natural abilities take you. If all that you do in life is based on your natural ability, you are living under limitation. But the Holy Spirit, walking in the Spirit, gives us ability beyond our natural ability. And so in the natural, you may be considered a non-achiever. Nobody in your life or in your family achieves much. But in the Spirit, in the Spirit, you can do all things through Christ. So walk in the Spirit. And not in the flesh. Don't allow your fleshly life to limit you, put you down, and assign you to failure. Because God has called you not to failure, but to success, to abundance, and to abundant life. Do you want to receive that? Oh yes, I receive that. So why don't we pray together? Say with me, Heavenly Father, today I step out of the flesh and the natural. I step into the spiritual. I am who I am by the Spirit of Christ who lives and moves in me. In Jesus' name, amen. You can do all things through Christ who lives in you. I'm Pastor Mesa Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.